So every week I pick a different streaming service and give you picks or things to watch on that streaming service. And this week I have picked Hulu, mostly because of the new Animaniacs reboot, and it seems like a lot of people are talking about that. And I also have a guest, Tyler Calvert, who is very nice to be on, especially since I was sick. This video will be on the next Movie Craft Live as well. He's very nice uh, to, uh, you know, change the plans and everything like that. He's very cool about that, by the way. We'll get to his picks later. If you just want to see his picks, there'll be chapters below, which I'll, of course, put in here if you want to just skip to that. Or you can watch, just hit play and get to that. I hope this video isn't too long. But of course, the big thing with Hulu and what I will recommend from what I've seen uh, of Animaniacs, it's really great. The new one, they also have the old episodes. You should check out Animaniacs on Hulu. I don't think I really need to pick it, but it just should be said so that it's said and then you've heard it. Um, other things to watch on Hulu, uh, I would say What We Do in the Shadows is a great um, funny comedy. Um, I was not really into the idea at first because I like the movie a lot, but it's kind of, you know, it, they actually do a good job with it. Jermaine Clement and Taika Waititi are both heavily involved in it, more so Jermaine Clement, I think, but they're bo both involved in some capacity. And if you like the movie, it's a really funny TV show uh, with Matt Berry and like has a great cast and everything like that. I've been watching Fargo season four, I think, the one with Chris Rock. I think it's the latest one. Should have looked that up. Um, that is on Hulu. I would say that's actually, um, that's actually pretty good. I don't love the plot line of like switching kids. I do, I'm not, I'm not into that, but the, the rest of it's been uh, pretty interesting, good, like kind of crime drama. I've not seen the other seasons of Fargo actually, uh, which is bizarre, but, um, I have seen this one. I can recommend that. Um, they also have a new season of Pen15, which I haven't seen all of, but I really like Pen15. It's reminds me a lot of growing up in the 90s it's sort of a interesting concept of two women who are adults now who grew up in the 90s and they play these kids who are 12 with a bunch of actors or in middle school basically with a bunch of actors who are actually that age and they are still their age now playing that age it's sort of it's it's interesting i'll say that but i'm i really like it and kind of exposes kind of um the uh, ugly uncomfortable truth of middle school for the 90s which um you know i think eighth grade might have <laughs> given me more attention through that but i still um really like the show and kind of like the reality i guess that it kind of sort of exposes through this bizarre kind of premise but um i really like the show um i haven't missed an episode i need to get, finish season two but i would definitely say um pet 15 is something you should put, check out and that's a hulu original there um they also i noticed have sabrina the teenage witch i'm surprised netflix doesn't have that we're not talking more about how they have sabrina the teenage witch they also have venture brothers which was recently canceled if you want to catch up on venture brothers before it will supposedly come back to hbo max maybe at some point but while everyone's deciding whatever the fuck that means uh you can watch it on hbo max they also have the classic powerpuff girl episodes um those are always great i don't think i really need to say much about those um they have absolutely fabulous which is a great comedy if you've never seen it i'm not going to go through explaining absolutely fabulous to you but um it's one of the great british comedies i think one of the best comedies of the 1990s they also have uh drunk history which i'm sad to hear is not coming back but i've always liked drunk history anytime it would comedy central play a marathon i guess i can have a marathon of it myself here on hulu which sounds pretty cool <laughs> And then um, since Sean Connery recently died, they have From Russia With Love. I think the first three Bond movies are pretty outstanding and probably the best the series ever did. And so I would say From Russia With Love. The second one is definitely up there. If you've never seen that one, I highly recommend it. They also have Portrait of a Lady on Fire, which is, you know, a great, since Adventure Time uh, Obsidian came out this week, is another great uh, lesbian romance. Uh, but um, that's a wonderful movie, especially during the pandemic because they're wearing masks and things. And then finally, um, Heathers. If you've never seen Heathers, it's a great black comedy. So now I'm going to go to Tyler Calvert and his picks for what to watch on Hulu. Jim, thank you so much for asking me to be a part of your channel to actually recommend some stuff to you guys for watching on Hulu, whether it be TV shows, movies, Hulu's got you there. Before I go into my picks and my honorable mentions, I do want to say hello. My name is Tyler. I do lots of different things on the channel. I talk about movies, stuff on streaming, TV shows. I also do trailer reactions, unboxings, many more things on the channel. If you like any of those things, be sure to head on over to the channel and join in on the discussion. 
Hulu, by many means, is not my favorite streaming service. I do like a few of them more, but I do think it holds a lot of value in many different other ways than certain streaming services do. Because Hulu has a lot of classic TV shows, classic cartoons, but they do have some decent originals as well that they've gotten some critical acclaim for. Such as the drama The Handmaid's Tale and the comedy Rami, which are both really great shows, but they're only going in my honorable mentions because I have not personally finished both of those shows, but I do recommend them as they're some of the best shows that are on Hulu that are Hulu originals. For Hulu Originals I do recommend is the spin-off show to the film Love, Simon. It's called Love, Victor. It's a very entertaining LGBT based show. It has a lot of similarities to Love, Simon obviously as it's a spin-off. If you want to watch the original film Love, Simon it's actually on Hulu as well so you don't feel too lost seeing certain characters inter interact with the new cast. But it's a really fun show. I really recommend it and also the show Solar Opposites. It comes to us from the same creative team behind the show Rick and Morty. It has the same animation style, the same kind of humor. So if you love Rick and Morty you're probably gonna love Solar Opposites as well. It's about this alien family moving into this rural a middle America house and trying to adjust to everyday life. It's actually very entertaining, very weird and out there as is Rick and Morty but it's some pretty entertaining Hulu originals. I like that Hulu showcases a lot of different indie films as well because you got stuff on there like Loose, a very intense family drama and also The Peanut Butter Falcon, a very fun adventure comedy starring Shia LaBeouf. As I alluded to before they got some classic shows on there as well like The Golden Girls. You can't go wrong with those four and all also, Bobby the Vampire Slayer is on there as well. So if you want some really good long form sort of TV format kind of shows to watch on there, you got many, many to choose from. But those are some of my favorite honorable mentions. We'll get on to the actual five picks I had now. My first pick's going to be Gone Girl. It's probably one of my favorite David Fincher films. It's really up there. I love a good mystery. I love a good thriller. And I think this is one of the best examples of that in the last several years, especially. It is quite a dark movie, but the story, it keeps you guessing. It keeps you enthralled all throughout because of the masterful storytelling from David Fincher here. Couple that with the amazing performances put on screen by Rosamund Pike and Ben Affleck. It's one of the most entertaining thrillers I've seen in recent years. I highly recommend checking out Gone Girl. This one's kind of an obvious pick, especially what's coming out on Hulu this weekend, and that is the revival of Animaniacs, but I'd also include the original as well. There's many different characters to the show, but the main ones obviously are Yakko, Wacko, Dot, and Pinky and the Brain. They all have very hilarious, fun, zany adventures filled with satirical humor and hilarious pop culture references. I think you're going to have fun no matter what the age you are, just because there's so many adult humor jokes that you don't get when you're a kid that you got later on on as you grew up. And I think that's the same case with this revival of the show as well. I think they did a really good job rebooting the show for a modern audience for all of us who grew up watching it in the 90s. Definitely check it out on Hulu. My next pick is actually another Hulu original film and it is Palm Springs. This is probably one of my favorite films of all year so far actually. We've seen the Groundhog's Day concept done time and time again but I think that this film does a really good job reinvigorating the concept bringing some new life into it with this romantic comedy aspect. It's a film that has a lot of very charming moments, a lot of early funny dialogue. The chemistry between Andy Samberg and Kristen Milioti is top notch, including the fun supporting character of J.K. Simmons. If you're a fan of the romantic comedy genre, this is definitely something that's going to be right up your alley. It's definitely going to leave you with a smile on your face by the time that you finish the film. The next pick is probably one of my favorite ongoing series right now, and that is Killing Eve. It's a fun cat and mouse kind of storyline where this intelligence operative named Eve is on the trail hunting down this assassin named Villanelle. Highly entertaining cat and mouse elements. It's actually surprisingly fun as well because this comes to us from Phoebe Waller Bridge known for the show Fleabag on Amazon. It's very great humor. If you like British humor, it's probably more up your alley more so than like American kind of stuff. The dynamic between the two becomes way more enthralling as the series unfolds and their lives get more entangled with each other. Eve, played by Sandra Oh, is fantastic, but so is Jodie Comer, who plays the charismatic assassin Villanelle. You're supposed to love her and hate her at the same time. She plays that dynamic really well. I love to see Jodie Comer in this role. There's three seasons of that show right now on Hulu. They actually just recently dropped the most recent season on there. So you got plenty of time until season four comes out because that's delayed for indefinitely, at least for right now. The final pick, of course, is the film Parasite, the most recent Best Picture winner, winner of four Academy Awards at the most recent recent Oscars. It's brilliant filmmaking and Bon Joo Ho at his finest. He's a fantastic director. Everything about this film is amazing. It has great performances from all of our actors here. The script is compelling and it draws you in with all of the different twists and turns. It keeps you ramped up with the suspense that's going on in the storyline and the direction as well on screen. It's beautiful to look at so there's really no flaws with this film I feel at least. The way that you see this poor family slowly making their way into this rich family's lives it's really compelling stuff here. I can absolutely see why this was the best picture winner. 
It's probably one of the best films I've seen in recent years, and I'm glad that it won Best Picture. Those have been my picks on what I recommend checking out on Hulu this weekend when you get a chance to check out some stuff. I tried to give you a good variety of different kind of things to watch, depending on what your tastes are when you want to watch something this weekend. Again, I want to thank you so much, Jim, for letting me be on this channel and talk about some Hulu recommendations with you guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'm very excited to see what Jim has to pick for the Hulu recommendations this month. I hope they weren't disappointing picks. I hope they were good picks. But anyway, thank you very much, Tyler, for being on. Definitely subscribe to his channel, especially because he was really cool about doing this in sort of an unconventional way. It was very nice of him. Um, anyway, if you want to look at our list of the picks for Hulu, they'll be below in the description. And yeah, I hope we gave you something to watch during this weird pandemic time, and I will see you again next time.